welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Theodore Roosevelt was born in Manhattan. This is the only home he owned during his lifetime. He lived in, obviously he lived in the White House. He lived in Manhattan when he was police commissioner, but this was his favorite place. Theodore Roosevelt, before he died, said to his wife, I wonder if you'll ever know how I loved Sagamore Hill. Here at Sagamore Hill, we feel that the number one object we have is the house. And in order to protect the 12,000 objects in this house, we needed to protect our number one resource, which is this home. Starting in about the 1990s, we started to have several issues occur. First of all, we had a leak in the roof. And when you have a leak in a roof, you can't just move your furniture over. In this case, the leak was actually coming into the, the room Theodore Roosevelt died in, which is the gate room. Once we realized the roof was leaking, we started looking closer and realizing that the shingles on the side of the house were starting to rot that the windows were starting to rot. Water was getting into the house, destroying historic um, furniture, historic wallpaper, and the plaster in the house. In order to rewire the entire house, we had to run all new electric lines. But how do you do that when you have a room that has historic wallpaper in it? You can't punch a hole in the wallpaper and run a line. It took the electrician over a year to redo the electric in this house. He couldn't pull up a floorboard. He couldn't put holes in historic plaster. They had to figure out a way to run everything without damaging the historic integrity of the home. That's a challenge, and that's what took the project so much longer. We started the project in 2008. We spent years doing nothing but the studies, then the planning, then three years of construction, and to pack and move all 12,000 objects and store them. So in the long run, it cost about $10 million. Our main goal was that if Theodore Roosevelt walked through this front door, he would feel like he was back home again during the presidential years. If you go to Old Orchard Museum, that's Theodore Roosevelt Jr.'s home, we have exhibits and movies down there. One of the exhibits we just did is an exhibit on the rehabilitation process and how we started in 2008, the studies that we did, and the moving process of the 12,000 objects, the construction phase, and then before and afters. When Theodore Roosevelt was alive, he had gone to Harvard University. He donated all of his personal papers to Harvard University, and then the Library of Congress has them. So when Edith finally died in 1948, um, there were no papers, so there was no way to really have a library. But she lived here until her death, and it turned immediately into a museum. So we feel we're even greater than a just a library. We have almost 99% original, his, the collection that he lived with. The collection, I like to say, is his personal stuff, the stuff that actually personifies him and explains to the visitor exactly who the man was, starting from the animal mounts that he could, you know, killed over the years, that his conservation movement you can talk about. You can talk about the Treaty of the Russo-Japanese War, that he won the Nobel Peace Prize because we have artifacts in the house that were gifts to him from Japan and from Russia. We get about 80,000 people a year. It's a little less than some of the other homes because it's a home, it's a family home. It was not built to be a museum and have hundreds of people walking through a day. We're limited to 15 people per tour every half hour. So that really limits the amount of people that can come through the home at any one time. But it's really to protect the house. The staircases and the floors can't take hundreds and hundreds of people. And our purpose is to protect it for the future, not just for today. Thank you so much for visiting Sagamore Hill. For more information, you can Google Sagamore Hill National Historic Site.